the, the history of the paddock is, is what is a sandy open clay uh, paddock that was what, that we divided off. It, it was really, I used to crop it and it was just a, a, a complete waste. It, it would it'd hay off very early and no good at all and then, then summertime it was grazed and then it would erode. The, the kike is great for our livestock. Uh, it's, a, it's a small paddock that's near the house. And it does provide a bit of a, a supplement feed when, when perhaps things are dry elsewhere. Our uh, consultant, Paul Omaday, mentioned that there was a project that was involved in terms of pasture cropping and it seemed to be a good fit at the time. It was starting to get a little bit stale and needed some, something to happen to it and it just seemed an ideal fix for it. When Paul suggested that I sprayed out the Roundup, I was, couldn't believe it. But anyway, I, I took his word and we tried it and uh, we only sprayed it at 300 mil, which was enough just to put it to sleep. It's certainly from a pasture cropping point of view, the spraying out just clean, seemed to clean the paddock up and we ended up with a better result by that spraying. The kike is almost back to where it was um, beforehand um, and I can pair that with unsprayed areas um, but the composition of the of the grasses in those sprayed areas is certainly much improved. Yeah so the original, the original planting with the kite was some cerradella and uh, that has, has persisted all the way through. Um, we had a great stand of cerradella last year and uh, again that was come back to the pasture composition that really just sort of gave it a chance to get away and, and it looked really good, yes. It gave us additional feed of better quality than what was already there, which is geranium and silvergrass and all the rubbish weeds. Um, and we know now that, that that soil type is not going to blow, that paddock's not going to blow, it can be stocked in the late spring or in the summer. And once the pressure comes off during the summer, any early autumn rains are going to give early feed. So we would hope in the next two to three years that the real benefits would start to be seen from the legume and the kaikyu in the system.